open in 3, 2, 1. Hello, welcome to another edition of Akuma's Den. Today we'll be checking out the new blueprint space from End Dreams. As you can see here, you can edit, load, create, or create from template. Today I'll show you how to create your own. As you can see, I already have one called Silent Hill Maze. We'll go to slot 2 and create a new one. Now, if you go to the design tool, which is the very first one, and rooms, you'll also see there's doorways, windows, and features. And build save is the last one you want to do. We'll get to that. Now you can only build rooms three wide, like three by three. That's the minimum you can do. You can't do any smaller than that. So we'll go ahead and start out with just some basic shapes. Make a rectangle one there. We'll move over, make a smaller one there, and another one right above it. You can see it's red, showing that it's not you know the right size it's uh, but once you do have it at the correct size it turns blue and it lets you set the walls now you have a basic little square there and there's no doors no windows no special features no decorating nothing so what we do is we go to doorways you click click on each individual room and you can add the doorways as you see fit anywhere you want so make a double wide door there doors leading to those two rooms We'll back out, move to the next room, add a door there, there we go, and one up here. And we'll select this room, add one door leading to there, and select this room, and add a back door. Alright, now we go to windows, same principle. You want to add windows, you can add them inside or outside. Uh, you just can't put doors or windows in the corners or near the corners. But anywhere else you can put them. So we'll put two on that one side, two on the back. Slap a couple on the sides here. Now once we're done with this, um, I will render it. But I can't... Well, I mean, I can't render it and show it to you because I already have the space decorated for my Silent Hill maze but I will show you that here in a minute uh, in the whole process of building let me just set these last couple of windows there we go back out and then we're gonna go down to features now in features you same thing you select a room select a spot we'll go right there in the middle to the left now here you can select walls, there's pillars, there's that fireplace thing. Oh, sorry, orange, orange stove. Uh, there's classroom desk features uh, that are soon going to be added that you can purchase to add on to the site. Uh, tons of stuff. Bling walls, chandeliers, other walls, there's a throne, statue quite a few things that we can look forward to see in the future the ones that I particularly like is the sci-fi horror but the apocalypse one sounds like it'd be pretty interesting as well we'll go ahead and back out here and we'll just put a simple iron stove Boom, iron stove right in the middle of the room but you can also choose what direction it faces by pressing the R2 R or R2 L2, sorry. We'll put a pillar there. And just repeat the same thing for all the other features. 
Now I'll show you real quick on how to do styles. Now you can do the style per room, customize it depending on what style packs you have. Go through, you can choose wall, uh, the wall styles, texture styles, pillar styles, the floor and of course ceiling. Now when you go down to the bottom you can apply to just the individual room or you can apply to all rooms. So once I get this set there's the floor, the ceiling, there we go. Now we'll go down and you can see you can click on oops wrong button sorry. We'll go down and click on apply to all rooms. I'll ask you yes. There we go. Now all rooms have been set to that. We can set the exterior. There we go. Classic paint. Accept. An environment. So you can actually change the environment as well. Uh, there's the space dome. Future ones that are coming out. The Aurora. And then, of course, right there, your shop where you can purchase some more. Alright, so we'll go ahead and back out and we'll do the desert. Accept. Now you can also change the sky. There we go. You can see there's a few different ones and some more that you can purchase as well. So we'll go ahead and do the dusky purple sky. Now here's where you click on build and save, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to back out. Oh, right here you can rename the apartment whatever you like. It only really shows in the editor, so it's mainly just to get a good idea of what you have, if you have different apartments to load. Alright, now I've loaded my maze. As you can see there, it's pretty intricate. And we'll build it. You can see all my decorations. And it's hard to see with all the fog, but you'll see walls being built, all the pillars being put up, all in order from the center out. As the camera pans around, it shows you basically the whole thing being built until it's completely done. And there we go. Pans around to the front. And all completely built. There's my Silent Hill maze. Goodbye and enjoy this short film. Where the hell are we? The sign says the virtual Silent Hill. Well, I've never heard of it, but it doesn't mean we can't go check it out. Let's go, uh, explore that building behind us.
Oh, no.